Polar Game is leaving report. Again, like the last video, let's try to get this video to have a lot of likes and uh, and shares. So we'll try to reach 10 likes and uh, I guess as many shares as you guys can do on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. I really appreciate it. It helps the video and me a lot. Uh, take care and I'll see you. Well, what the fuck? Uh, thank you. That's what I meant to say. So uh, some of my fuel rods have emptied and depleted. So I was planning on replacing it. So before I do that, I wanted to compress down the uh, uranium I had in here to uh, the enriched uranium which is what you put into these fuel rods uh, so we'll compress that stuff down and then once we compress it we'll uh, begin making or putting in the extra so let's finish compressing that's all of them so we have all this extra uranium Right, then we have the extra enriched in here, and we have our extra fuel rods. Uh, so I have that's 27. I can already replace the new ones. Uh, so boom, 135, and these ones are almost done. You can see they're 9,000 probably out of 10,000. I don't really know the number. Uh, anyways, we want to basically thermal centrifuge the old ones so heat that up uh, we have still more purified uranium ore in there tons of tiny piles of lead dust oh my god let's um does this actually okay Converting it back to piles of dust, uh, lead dust, yeah. Best way, I guess, to store my space. Done. Save space, boys. Right, and... Put the extra purified uranium up there, and it's still washing. Oh my god. Take out the extra of this shit and put it in there. Alright, organized. So, what have I done? Uh, I am thermal centrifuging this. It's taking absolutely forever. Using a lot of power, probably. Let's check my MFSU, actually, because this should be... Full power, 40 million EUs. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's a crazy number. That's a crazy number. Uh, yeah, that buffer is ridiculous. That's beautiful. So beautiful. Yep. Right. That's great. Uh, I replaced those. Want to replace those really soon. And the other ones, because I did those at the same time. Put the extra ones away. Uh, I could actually can 60 or 38 more. Uh, what is the canning process again? How do I get fuel rods? Empty fuel rods. Extruding iron plates. Okay. So I could easily set up stacks of uh, iron to go through and then I'll extrude it again. Or I'll ex extrude the iron plates after rolling it. Uh, yeah, we're in a bottleneck right now, actually, of getting gas tiers, and I have to figure out what I'm going to do to get them. It's kind of frustrating. Uh, so I was in the nether killing gas, and then I was like, wow, this is pretty shitty. This is going to take me forever. So then I was like, well, I'm going to go to the Twilight Force and go find an ur gas tower. I traveled about 4,000 blocks, that's why like my jetpack is recharging right now, uh, and it's not, I don't know, it wasn't that good, I couldn't find one. So now I'm in this spot where, well what do I do? So I still have the problem of finding, or finding all those gas. I have a fortune looting sword now, at least, so I can get a lot of gas tiers off of the kills, but there's still the problem of uh, finding them. So what I could do is safari net them. So it's four ender pearls. 
in the gas tier, I believe. And I'm going to be using one of them to bring back a ghast. Yeah, let's uh keep all my gas tiers on there, of course. Let's get out my diamond armor. Hazmat suit OP. So I'll go capture a ghast, and then I guess I'll figure out how to bring him back and contain him inside here. It's probably a terrible idea. There's probably a much better way I could do this, but I have all the stuff set up there and I don't want to move it. I could actually probably really easily move that to like the nether with like a capacitor and I should really do that. Anyways, I must get my jetpack, that's what I was getting. It's charging that too. Okay, let's go get a ghast. Hover mode activate. Yeah, I'll probably just go spawn them somewhere else, so I don't have to worry. Oh man, the only problem is if it blows up my mm. auto spawner. That would really suck. Hmm. Please gas. All oh, right. This is why my sound was really loud when I first got on. And I had to mute, turn it down. So I'm not actually going to put up that other video, because it was pretty obnoxious just flying around looking for that air gas tower. Um, probably pretty boring. We're obviously looking for gas, completely different. Because I think it should relatively be quicker to find a gas than the gas tower, the air gas tower that I was trying to find. And because I already found two in the nether for the like couple minutes I was here the, the last time. Uh, therefore, this is where I came to last time I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you, my XP is still here. Uh, yeah, so we'll find some gas, take them, and then rip, rip my base. Hmm. Interesting. There, how are there no gas? There's whatever that thing is. Oh god, it moves. Oh, another, another fortress. Uh, what? Eh, uh, hello? I heard explosion. Are you guessed? Many explosions. Very loud. Lag. Oh god, bees. I hear, I hear gist. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. I found you. You were f fucking hella far. Oh my god, you're loud. Thank you. Let's go back home. Super drive, bruh. Wow, I went far. It's funny how much better the nether loads than the toilet. But I guess it is like a vanilla. Oh, I hear another guest. Uh, probably this way. Just wait till I hear him again. What the heck? I don't hear him. Rip. 
God damn it. Oh, I have an idea. If I spawn the gas in there, but I don't actually go there, they shouldn't shoot, right? They shouldn't shoot me, and therefore they won't blow it up, and I can farm gas with my grinder. That's probably the best idea. And the fans should maybe blow them towards it, towards the front. Oh, let's fix the sound. This is way too loud, I'm sorry guys. There's a reason I play on 6%. Uh, how do I... How did I get down there again? Is it here? Yeah. Please no Ripperino in Cappuccino. Yeah. The odds are they just won't spawn. Because it's too small of an area. If I had to guess, I would have to put it up pipe higher, I'm pretty sure, to have it actually spawn. Darn it. Can they spawn gas? I don't actually know for sure. Well, it's trying. It's definitely trying. It's, yeah, it just can't spawn. Damn. Alright, well this is probably pretty risky. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, go in here. Remove it. Place it one higher. Oops. one higher and put it in how big is a freaking gas that it won't spawn there alright alright mate, fine I'll take you. We'll count. We're going, going out of here. Uh, let's take this with me. This with me. Uh, power, power, power. I don't want to take a tesseract with me, do I? Whatever. Let's just first see if it'll spawn out here. So let's go out here, put on a tree with it inside. It's probably a suicide mission. No power. Alright, let's go get some power. Test. Uh, aha! Take that with me. So I don't care about that. Alright, let's go get that tree again. Is it this one? Is this one? Oh, it's trying. Oh god, it worked. This is a terrible idea. No one thought this through. Every eight, oh, oh, hey, yeah, it's controlled. All right, because it's taking forever to spawn them, because the power is so bad. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, it worked. It worked. Easy. 22. Not bad. Okay, so what's stopping it now is obviously I want to put some of the drum in. So we'll fluid pipe it in. Good. We have, we have essence. Cool. Okay, the next one. So I want to charge this in my hand. Will that work? No. So I actually have to... Alright, fine. I'll put this back. Take that. Uh, charge it in my hand. I uh, don't even know if it... Oh, power, energy sword. Okay, cool. Alright, let's begin. So I should never actually shoot this because I'm standing over here. Oh wow, it killed that very fast. I guess I should actually go get a power source instead of charging it in my hand. Probably. Uh, cup pass. Does any of this have power stored? 100,000. Let's just do... Uh... Oh, hello, creeper. No, thank you. Receive. Let's see how fast I can charge that. This pipe is holding it back. Gosh darn it. I guess I'll go to a million. I don't know. That should already be enough power. Drain out the power. Okay. No, I didn't actually check where the output is on this thing. Oh, okay, it's there. Alright, let's take this. Put it here, put it here. Our spawner has power and gas. Okay. Please no Ligarino Cappuccino. Oh god. Oh, it worked. Okay, sick. Yeah, I just needed a huge freaking room for for gas. That's amazing. This is the best idea ever. I'm just gonna keep going till it runs out. God damn. Some of these fucking assholes. Only a bit more. Nice hat. I already have enough. Kill one more, and then I'll break it. Yeah. God fucking damn it. <laughs> it did not want me taking it out. Alright, cool. That worked uh, exceptionally well. It was probably faster than any other method possible. Uh, so we have all the gas tiers. Uh, so now it's magma cream, gas tiers, cemented spider eyes, eye of enders, 27 eye of galgadors. Blue stone, 27. Uh, diamond blocks. So it's, this is three, so make all nine. Light. We'll make this recipe now, so it's diamond block, glowstone, 
I have Galgadors and there we go. Uh oh. That's why I needed so much of the uh stabilized metal actually. So what the hell was that called? So hardened mesh and I need refined hardeners. Okay. There's refined hardener. So I need a bunch more of those. Which means I need a lot more obsidian and iron out, or diamonds. So I'll take out a stack diamond take out sixteen We'll make a few, oh, 32 is fine, yeah. Okay, so 32. Go cook them. While I'm cooking them, I'll repair this that I messed up. So it should be fully completed of the cooking method. Right, then I need to make all the meshes and all that shit. So what, five? So that's why it was seven divided by two. Seven recipes of it divided by two. So what the hell is the mesh again? It was this with iron bars. Mm. So I need probably... If that made two... And I need 18, or if it made 4 and I need 18, it would be 5 more, so 4 times this. Okay, that's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I need more iron. Okay, so 3 at the bottom. 5. Alright, that should be enough. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely enough because it's more than the... Or it's as much as the Eye of Galgadors and Glowstone with less uh, required. There we go, that's all 18. This makes two of these. These cook into the ingots that I needed for the recipe. Amazing. Boom. There we go, I have the two enhanced Galgadorian metal. Wow. Wow, that recipe is Flippin' insane. But now whenever I need gas tears, I have um, a gas at ready to spawn. Which is pretty crazy. I have to admit. So now I need to look up Vibrant. I have enough, so let's take out 18. And we'll make two blocks out of it. Which is the recipe. Uh, we'll also do that with Endurium. We'll make two blocks of Endurium. For the recipe. Uh, so actually, if we look at this again, I have the Galgadorian metal, I have the Vibrant Alloy, I have the Enderium. I'll make the calculation processors right now. Um, the inscriber is downstairs. Doesn't really matter. Fuck. Press. I need one silicon. Calculation. And uh, reds don't. Oh god. I'm not doing it right now. I remember why this is also going to take a long time to do. I have to leave that for like days. <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, I need all this iridium, which is basically fucking expensive as shit. Like, just, just look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, was that a dense iron plate? Or 
Alright. I realize now. I'm gonna have to run a few few stacks, just a few, through this rolling machine. Good thing I have the power for it. So I'll actually just start compressing these right now. Since that'll take a long time as well. Uh, that's still washing the ores. And in here we have plutonium. Those are tiny pi- So each nuclear reactor process gets me basically 20, or it gets me 3 plutonium. Each reactor that I, that I run full time gets me three. And if I need two stacks of plutonium, how the fuck am I going to do this? It's almost quicker to go find iridium in dungeons. I guarantee I can't hold plutonium without the hazmat suit on, so I'm gonna go get that. And I'll begin my first freaking MOX nuclear fuel. Uh, let's get my hazmat. That's like crazy. I almost have to turn off the ender quarry for a night and literally just leave on my nuclear reactors. But they they won't even make that much in a night. Oh yeah. So here's the plutonium. Let's let's see something. So there we go. Three plutonium. Let's look up uh, mox because I want to look at something. So a mox is a mox nuclear fuel, which is three plutonium and six uranium, and that's just one. And then a depleted mox, when used in here, gets you three full plutonium and a tiny pile. So it doesn't actually get you anything extra. It's still the same amount of plutonium that you get back. So there's no point in using mox as fuel at all. It's just that it doesn't use the tiny piles. So you can reuse it basically. Okay, so yeah, I got my first mox basically. Let's just make this just to show. my first mox of a sta of two stacks and that took a lot of time that is so crazy so I like I basically have to mass produce nuclear reactors well, that, well that's almost done so I'll just wait for that I really don't know what to do I <laughs> I'm going to have to go to a single player after this, after I replace these, and look at something. Or watch videos on better nuclear reactors, I don't, I don't know. These are almost done completely. Hmm. Because, yeah, each one of these is basically... So I'd have to run an entire reactor four stacks worth. So basically divide four stacks by three, you get something like 80, 80 times. I'd have to run all three reactors. That's crazy. And is there any other way to get pl plutonium? That's faster. Because obviously I could run quad and it does run four times as fast, but how do you keep it from overheating? That is the question. Interesting question. Oh, hey, look, half of them are done. What about these? Are they going faster? Hmm. That's really odd that uh, half of it did finish. Uh, 
That's odd. Now it'll definitely finish faster on one side over the next one next time. Hmm. I'd almost have to run this, like, leave it on to get all this plutonium done. I'm going to have to do some testing in a creative after, like right after this, because this is crazy. Maybe I won't make you guys sit there watching it. Yeah, I'll, I'll end the video after I replace these. They're almost done on the last seven seconds. So I guess each fuel rod, each reactor takes 10,000 seconds to fully run out of uh, fuel. Yeah, that's like a ra average... Uh, a very specific number, but maybe it's a little bit different than that. That's a hundred off. Hundred two minutes, roughly. Some of these are almost done. No, only one of them was. Wait, what? I thought I said ninety-nine. Oh no, that's like two minutes off. All right, I'll replace it off uh, video. But anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys did. Leave a comment in the comment section below about how ridiculous this is. Um, and what I should do for plutonium. Because that's that's just not even right. It doesn't seem right. Like how can it be that crazy? Um, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And as always I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, going a little bit crazy thinking about this. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.